Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I am back again for the hashtag 50 stack challenge to the second um, in these challenges. I did a 50 stack challenge, just no number at the end. Um, so what this is, is a like a 25 week prompt assignment sort of challenge. And so what I do is I draw one prompt out of the bag, but there's two items on there because they're opposites like black and white. And then you make um, ephemera, one for each of the prompts. So for example, because I know that's, it's very confusing. Um, last week we had prompt number 35 was empty. So I have this frame that is empty that you could write on but you know then it's a little piece of ephemera you can make a collage or a painting or whatever the art pieces that you like you can use any um base it doesn't matter you don't have to do the same one that I did that week like this is just book page that's folded over but you don't have to do that or actually this was coffee dye tea dye um you can do what, like if I did this, you could do a guest check. It doesn't matter, tag, whatever. Um, you can do them all the same, like Tammy at Lufer Fru Studio is doing um, playing cards. She does two of those each week. So whatever you feel like doing, do it, okay? Empty and then full. So this frame is full because it's got a picture in it. and But it's essentially the same type of ephemera. I just did two pieces, empty and full, okay? So I hope that, I hope that is clear. <laughs> we're getting along pretty good, man. 35, 36, so we're on 37 and 38. So 37 will be laugh, 38 will be cry. So number 37 is laugh, number 38 is cry. So you just have to find something that represents laugh to you um, for one piece of ephemera and then on the next piece of ephemera you have something that represents cry and you can do that however you want I don't it's really just meant to be fun and to help us build our stash that's it that's 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 the main goal so however you want to do that or however you interpret it is um that's totally up to you so I will be right back with all my goodies hey, hello I am back so we have laugh and cry so what we're going to use is this image of these Victorian people laughing and having fun. It's hilarious. And then for cry, I'm using um, these four ladies in mourning. Uh, there's a lot of pictures like this in, from the Victorian era where they um, either pose with the veils over their faces or like a hanky or whatever. So <clears throat> that's going to be my cry. And what we're going to do is use a glue page, you know, a page that I had used for gluing and then folded in half together and um, half of an envelope. This was a long, you know, long, tall, this way. <laughs> long, tall envelope and I just cut it in half. So now I've got a flap and a pocket and flap and a pocket. Okay. So that all, that's all this is. We're just going to hook them together. I am going to have to do one going this way and one's gonna open the other way so that the pocket's upright. You could cut the bottom, you know, if you um, wanted them both going the same direction, but I don't care if one goes one way and one goes the other way, because sometimes on pages, uh, depending on where they land in a journal, it's better if they open one way or the other, so it's nice to have both. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with this one. No reason, just going to. And then these are to decorate some postcards to go inside the pocket and this is just all a bunch of scrappy paper or you know paper to cover them with so I hope you're all having a good day I'm having a good day just uh <clears throat> been doing stuff around the house it's Sunday for me and so now I'm doing a video and I've gotten some uh, more stuff done for the gnome journal I'm kind of gonna hold off a little bit this week on that just because um, I mentioned I have some stamps coming and I would really like to be able to use them. <laughs> um, so I kind of want to wait till they get here before I finish it. So I'll probably just be doing some kind of, you know, fun random, just ephemera for whatever I feel like <clears throat> this week. 
And then hopefully that stuff will get here so that I can finish up because I do have quite a bit done. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for the cover. I have some fabric, but you know, it's always tricky figuring out the covers are not my favorite part, but I was thinking I could use that um, card, the, let me see if I've got it, oh, it's right here. <clears throat> I made this card in a short and it's, you know, it could be a greeting card, but I thought it might be kind of fun to do something with the fabric where this slides in and then you see the front, but you can take it out and write on it. So I don't know yet. I haven't totally figured out how I want to do that, but I think it'll be something to do with that. <clears throat> oh, I'll measure this just so you guys have an idea. The book page is four and a quarter by five and a quarter, four and a quarter by five and a quarter. And the envelope cut in half is almost four and a quarter by four and three quarters, roughly. So it's just one of those long envelopes cut in half. I think I did cut one other little sliver out of it because I made one side a little bit longer than the other and I wanted them the same size, but you can obviously just keep them one size. So I have this old book page. <clears throat> but you can make these any size like it whatever size envelope will uh, fit in your journal um you know whatever size of the book page that you have that's just what i had so it wasn't like a you know a big deal or anything put that there and then i'll have to find some little bits of things <clears throat> so we'll do this one with the laugh so we're gonna cover quite a bit of whatever's on there. I could trim it down a little bit more. I might do that. Let me grab my cutter. So yeah, that way you'll get to see a little more of the background anyway. And I just found these on, I think it was Pinterest or something, or even just Googled it. You can find, um, old Victorian photos fairly easy they're not they're not real hard to come by and it's not as clear as I'd like it but I think they're moving and stuff because they're laughing and he's trying to sit on their laps and so I think it's just <clears throat> you know all the moving that's probably happening there so my poor husband mowed the lawn and it's been rainy and everything for days and he just fertilized it the last time he mowed it, which was, I don't know, seven days ago or something. And it was so long, he could not even get the mower <laughs> to go through it. He had to make like several passes and oh my gosh, it just turned into a jungle out there because we've had, it's been wet and he had fertilized it. And we had a very wet winter. So all things combined have made for a very lush, thick lawn, which is lovely, but whoa hard to cut for sure. <clears throat> I'm going to move this little piece of paper back here. Just don't want to glue anything to it. Make sure I have the top at the top. <laughs> okay. Speaking of glue page, I need one. I just use these bags mostly now. I've got a lot of um, glue pages, but I'm going through them now that I've stopped um, using them to glue on. So... That'll be weird if I use those all up eventually, because I had a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. Let's maybe put this down at the bottom. <clears throat> so you might hear my husband, he's downstairs. But yeah, crazy, crazy yard time. I think I want this under, so put that down first. That's just some old sheet music. I'm sure you can see that. <clears throat> that has been cut with pinking shears at some point. It was just in my scrap box. <laughs> I might scooch it up just a little and then I'll just trim off the wherever there's extra. I got it very crooked. 
And then I'll have gluey scissors. It's nice to keep the flaps on the envelopes because then you can use them to glue, you know, glue your project together. Uh, I think I got this idea from Rachel at Roxy Creations years ago. I think, you know, everybody still kind of does stuff like this. <clears throat> but it wasn't my idea. Just gluing paper together like we do. <clears throat> Thank you to everybody who's been watching my short videos. I appreciate it commenting and stuff it really does help my channel so thank you thank you thank you it's a, a huge help i kind of want to rough that up a little bit <clears throat> sorry i've got a frog in my throat it's supposed to rain some more today so let's see it's not warm again <clears throat> which was real weird because last week it was 80 or 90 actually on Sunday I think almost 88 and today it's like barely in the 50s so weird it's just everywhere <clears throat> so what else do I want to put with that anything this little rose this is from medieval mirage it might be pretty i don't know let's just get the picture on there and then i'll decide what i want to do <clears throat> these hello fresh bags work great for gluing on too so i do like those quite a bit and you can do other projects with them too And these are just like glue erasers and you can get them at craft stores or sometimes you can find them at the dollar store. I've found them on Amazon, but they're great because they will erase when you get these gluey smudgy messes all over like I do all the time. It's very helpful. I'm going to wrinkle this a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> I do kind of feel like I want a flower, but I don't know what. I got a bunch more of these. They're nice to have. Sometimes I like to just use a part, especially of these ones, because I never use them because they're so big. So sometimes it's fun to just take part of one of these, and I think that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I mean, they're beautiful. It's just hard to find a spot where you want to use all that. It's a lot. Just rough it up a tiny bit. So it looks kind of intentional that it's, you know, different than the rest. <clears throat> Pasha got a haircut yesterday. That's always a very interesting <laughs> project. And now he looks like a little lamb. He doesn't love it, I'll just say. I mean, he sort of just stands there while I hold him and my husband um, clips his fur <clears throat> and complains. He just stands there and complains. By the end, he's sometimes trying to bite and stuff just because he's fed up with it. But he's funny because he'll just complain and complain. All right. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me.
excuse me, that just snuck right up on me and I almost wasn't even able to say, hold on. <laughs> Didn't Couldn't even turn off the camera because it was coming. <clears throat> I did turn away though, so hopefully it helps a little. <laughs> Not too loud. <clears throat> All right. So I'm thinking, I kind of want something on here. I have this player piano roll. I was thinking you could put a piece of this and still have a little bit of room to write. So that might be kind of fun and different. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely have the allergies going today. <clears throat> Neck up on me. Well, we were outside quite a bit yesterday. So. <clears throat> the other thing to do is to put the glue onto the envelope so that you don't, because I always put all the glue on the back and then that gets glued shut. So. You don't want to do that. I've done that a plenty of times. I think I'll use a little piece of this maybe just to put along the edge. Just some book page. Oldie oldie. <clears throat> And my glue stick, which is kind of melty for some reason. I don't really know why. Because <clears throat> it is not all that warm. And this, I don't feel like I need to ink at all because it's just a great color. I mean, I'll probably go around the envelope a little bit, but <clears throat> I apologize for the throat thing. It's annoying, I know. But I can't really help it. some glue just on the edges. Not the top one though, just because, let's see, that'll work. <clears throat> we have an opening there too, so I don't wanna glue that shut. Okay. Oh, you guys watching the Letitia Stout trial? I mean, hopefully by now we know, by the time you see this or close. But they're still deliberating. I thought it was going to be a fast return on that. <clears throat> but not so much. So. Oh, that was good. I just opened it up again. It's all right. I'll fix it. Let me just get my thumb notch in here. I think that's about right, hopefully. <clears throat> but yeah. So sad. So, so, so sad. Poor family. A good little writing spot on there because you can really write on pretty much all of it not so great on the little um, openings but that's okay <clears throat> so then I'm just gonna hook this flap 
to the back of this, and this will most likely get glued down to a journal page because, you know, that's how you would hook it on. But if you decided to leave it as something that tucks into a pocket, you could cover the back too with a paper that could be written on. What that is. So I'm just going to kind of go in the middle because as you can see, it's not as long as the book page and it, it's however you want to do it. You could do it to the bottom, to the top, whatever. And then we'll go ahead and put something here. Maybe this will work. This is from my spill and tea, just a little page from that. <clears throat> Definitely this image is not from 1920, but we're gonna just be okay with this saying 1920. <laughs> Much earlier, I want this little design down here is what I'm trying to get. I would rip straight, that would help. My son comes home this week. I'm very excited. Just has to get through all his finals. <laughs> Which is always fun, right? have his first year down already. Crazy. Next year at this time my daughter will graduate. Which is also crazy. <clears throat> Went fast. Not to her, but <laughs> to the rest of us. Feels like you're in there forever when you're in the midst of it. All right, so see, that's a fun little, got some writing space, a nice pocket, cute. I like the what's on the front. I might put one of those snarky statements on there. I don't know, I'll have to look through them and see what I, see what I like. Okay, so for this one, I thought, um, maybe we'll use this postcard. Where did I put the other? Oh, it I'm like, where did I put the pin for the glue? And then I have this funny lady. This was in that, one of those ephemera things. She's got two cherries in her mouth. It's funny. that kind of went with the laugh thing. And I think I was going to use this for to go with her. Just a little something on the front there. I thought would be fun. This is some lacy paper. It's uh, you might see some color because on the back it's from Alice in Wonderland, but I'm going to use the lace lacy side. And this is from uh, Tailor Made Journals. Yeah, just something kind of like that. And that will be our tag to go in our pocket.
kind of came over a lot further, didn't I? I don't know. And this is just from some scrapbook paper, these uh, postcards. But you can definitely find, I mean, lots, post, a lot of postcards. A lot of scrapbook companies have used postcards, and um, you can also find them on digitals from Etsy. And So, yeah, it's not hard to find the backs. And that's another thing that you can just do, like, a Google search for and um, come up with some backs for postcards that are in the public domain. And this rose is from that Tim Holtz stuff. The butterflies and flowers and all. And we need to back this as well. And I think I'll just use tea dye for that. I mean, you don't have to, but it's real thin. So I want it backed with something just to give it a little more oomph. Yeah. Fingers are sticky. Will it go this way? Oh, it will go this way. Let's do that. And then we'll have some for the other postcard. And these might be a little tall, these postcards, and they might stick out a little bit, but I'm not that worried about it. Alrighty, so that one's done. And that'll go right in here. So you might, I don't know, it just depends. I might want to turn it the other way actually, so that whatever shows at the top. And I might cut it like a tag too. But yeah, that way you can see a little bit of that lace popping out the top. So fun. And then you can glue three sides and have a pocket back behind here too, or you can just glue the whole thing down and then in the journal it'll open and close like that. So then we have another one. Oh, hold on. Okay, just sorry so about that. I had a message I had to answer. <laughs> okay, so on this one we're doing the cry because we have laugh and cry. So I'm going to use a piece of this maybe. I'll look good at that. Or would it be better to use the lace? Yeah, I think I'll use the, I think I like the lace. Yeah, I like the lace better. Very sad photo, but it fits <laughs> her prompt. burying my blue page here. Move this. Make sure I have the top at the top. 
wouldn't do to have the envelope upside down. Oops. I mean, I suppose you could just turn the whole thing over, but if it, if you did it right now, but not down the road. Okay, I feel like it needs a little something, so we'll put a little music on there. Music is just falling apart. <laughs> it just cracks every time it gets bent or anything. It's kind of crazy. I don't really want to cover that up. Let's see. How do we? Maybe we could put it down at the bottom instead. Over this way. Something different. We need to rough this up. You know, don't really have any tales to tell. We went to a um, friend's house last night for dinner because um, it's actually a friend that my husband grew up with. And his birthday is like two days before mine. So we kind of did like a happy birthday thing. <laughs> so it was good to see them and visit. They have um, great Pyrenees rescue dogs. They've got two of them. Oh, they're just really neat dogs. I mean, they're gigantic, but they're, they're very sweet dogs. Very sweet. And I'm really not a whole much of a dog person and it's nothing bad it's just I never had dogs I've always I've only ever had cats so um I just tend to you know like cats but they're super very very sweet dogs okay so this one's gonna get glued on this direction Those envelopes were gifted to me, I think, by Karen. Thank you, thank you. Wonderful, long, tall envelopes. Okay, we're going to open that and try not to glue it closed. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use a piece of this. I feel like it needs to go that direction. And then I'll have more scraps. Oh, yay. <laughs> They're never ending. I'm telling you, never ending. Even when I try to use scraps and then I tear them more, it's like, oh, well. Now I just have more scraps from scraps. You know. It's, it's just never ending. be good to write on. So what projects are you guys up to? Anything fun? Or are you going on any vacations? We're going to go to a road trip with the kids to Vegas, which Vegas isn't the exciting part, but um, my husband has a conference down there, so 
we're gonna go and just, oh, see, I did it, you guys. Were you yelling at me? <sighs> well, I'm gonna use that for something else. Um, yeah, he's got a work conference, so we're all gonna go, and then the kids and I can hang out during the day while he's at the conference. And then at night we can go do shows and stuff, and that'll be fun, because they can go. And then the road trip down and back too, we can do a few things. So we haven't done a road trip with them in so long. So it'll be fun. And the other cool part now is they can drive too. <laughs> Take turns driving. It's always nice to have more people driving. I'm such a dope. I do it every time. Every time. If I don't glue it like this, I always end up gluing it all shut. Because I'm not real good at that for some reason. My brain gets on its own little trip. And I'll just put a little over here. It was going on a vacation. <laughs> At least that's how it feels sometimes. Okay. And then that's going to need a, a punch. So hopefully I can do it without popping it open this time. Probably not because this is pretty thick. This here punch. I think that's sort of middle. All right. And then we need something fun maybe on this side this time. Well, I mean, I guess it's the same side because I... ended up turning it that way. Maybe we'll come over here. And then put something underneath. This little feather might be kind of cool. old. Oldie, oldie. Thank you, Lorraine. So you'll still be able to see bits of it underneath there. It's kind of fun. Okay, that piece of paper is getting real gluey needs to dry all the way. Yeah, that glue is real gooey, goopy today. Don't know why. Take just, eh, I don't want to take any more off because that's, you're not going to have any writing space hardly at all, so I'll just do it like that. This one has a lot more holes. A 
those little holes with the glue. <laughs> All right. So then on this one, I have this postcard. And I thought we'd have a picture of this gentleman and his violin or whatever it is. And it's like these girls lost their brother. That's what we're going to say. And he loved the violin. But it feels like it needs more. So let's see. What else do we want to put on there? This picture originally had a tear there, so. That's in my um, industrial digital download. I think, or is that one rest in numbers? That one might be rest in numbers. It's really hard to remember all that. Because you make them a while back and they're similar to each other as far as I used um, images from the same book. And I forgot to ink that. Well, it looks like I inked it before I scanned it, so <laughs> it's inked. Who's killing me today? Even got it glued to the table. Mace. His violin and his music. Okay, and then we're gonna back it. Oh, I had that piece, huh? With the coffee dye, yes. I think it will fit, yes. Trying not to push hardly at all on it because I know that only makes it worse. But man, it's just gloppy. Now you could have done a fold over, you know, a folded um, backing where you like double over the coffee dye to go on the back so then it opens like a little booklet, but I just wanted them back to regular. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Shaky hands and scissors. And I just kind of snipped these corners because, of course, they were all straight and everything because it was scrapbook paper. But I just kind of did that little snip at the corner thing just so they look like they've kind of been around for a while. And you can even kind of bang the corners a little, you know, and that bends them up. So that will go in here and I'll probably go ahead and put it this direction again just because you're going to see a little bit of it hanging out and I'd rather see that than just the plane. But I, I may cut those into tags. I don't know because they're postcards. So I think I might just leave them like they are. So we have number 37 is laugh. I keep wanting to say happy but it's laugh. So this is laugh. It opens like so. And then we have cry, which is these four ladies crying. 
over their brother. And these are our cards inside. So very fun little pieces of ephemera, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what you make. If you make something um, and you've just started, make sure you use the hashtag 50 stack challenge and then it's two, it's the two behind it um, for this particular challenge. And um, yeah, I'd love to see what you guys make. And if you um, just wanna see what everybody else is making, uh, search for the hashtag 50 stack challenge two on Instagram or YouTube or wherever and then you will see it I'm only on Instagram Facebook and YouTube so you're not gonna find me anywhere else I don't really know where else I know there's other platforms I'm just not very savvy on all that so anyways I hope you guys have an awesome day and we will chat again tomorrow love you guys bye